Reading is an activity that requires the brain to process lots of information at high speed. Dyslexia can compromise this processing and reading can suffer as a result. The first step in reading is visual. The reader looks at the page and analyses or recognises the visual features of the text, the shape of the words and letters on the page. An individual with dyslexia may struggle with visual perception and so the visual information his or her brain receives may be less complete or less correct. Each letter has as much shape as we can give it to maximise the chance of recognising it. Letters have different heights. There are serifs, little flicks on lots of letters. Our lowercase l does not look like our uppercase i and our lowercase b, d, p and q are not each other in different orientations. We also leave plenty of space between letters to help combat any tendency to see words as a blur or a block. You might say this gives the brain a little space to breathe. Our tinted backgrounds can also reduce a perception of blur, glare or movement on the page. No one would come into the office in the morning and say, walking into work today, I got very wet. But that's a very common literary construction. What we have done in the tints texts is to go back to our authors and say, our readers may not know these constructions yet. Can we please tweak the language to sound more like the language they do know, spoken language? We then all work together with the help of children with dyslexia to make this happen.